my disclaimer, guys. Before this video starts, don't use keys without permission. Elevator keys. Um, we'll be using this FEO dash K1 key in the video, which it actually says FEO K1. Don't use them without permission. If you don't know what you're doing, don't use them either, because if you don't know how to turn fire service off after turning it on, that could be a problem. How to turn it off is simple. You put your key in, you turn the key to reset slash bypass, then you turn it to off after holding the key at reset at the reset slash bypass position for about three to five seconds. That's all I got. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This video is for entertainment purposes only, okay? Guys, we're going to do fire service on this elevator. We need to get the FEO K1 key. Here it is. In, and I'll turn it to on. You hear an alarm. Call button is now missing. You will not hear a buzzer. Let me uh, fix my thing real quick. And the alarm will be here. Okay, it's here now. The elevator is now disabled. Will not be. You'll go into the elevator. That was phase one, by the way, guys. You'll take your key. You'll put it in here. To open up this cabinet. Open the cabinet. You will. Uh, buttons will not work. Call cancel. None of these will work. You have to take the fire key. You have to put it into the on position. Now we. Now the elevator is in phase two fire service. You can press the door closed. Door closed does not work on this elevator, but it will fire service. And if you take the finger off, it'll reopen. These buttons also work. See? All right. We're going to select the four. If you don't want to go there, you'll press call cancel. And it'll cancel it. It will. There you go. So, we'll also test call cancel by going up. We're going to close the door. Close the door. Elevator door is now closed. To open the door, you press and hold door open, take your finger off of it, it'll um, eventually stop and close back up for a case of fire. Select a four. We're going to take it up to three. We're on our way. The buzzer is not going to go for the chime. We're heading up now. Here we are, level three. Door will not open due to fire thing. You'll have to do that thing I just showed you again. Two. Call cancel. We'll make it stop at the nearest floor. Now we'll go up to three. We'll change directions and head back up. There we go. Going up to three. There's a fixture. Now we're going to open the door. We'll use this button this time. You press and hold the button until the door is completely open. Once it's open, you can take your finger off. If you want to hold the card at this floor, you put your key in, turn it on hold, you can remove the key as when it's in on it. Well, when you put it in hold, button, floors will not work. I'll cancel. That is a stop run switch. We're not going to use that though. Anyway, so now we're in hold. Door closed will not close the door. We want to send this back down and turn it off. And yeah, you can also hold the door open. In case people are getting off. Let's close it. We'll take one more ride. It'll recall it down to the first floor. Once it gets down to the first floor, it'll stop like it just did. And it's it kicked it pretty much kicked phase one back in by the recall. Door will open up again. Door close will not work. See? Until the fire key is turned back on. Alright, let's close the door again. Door is closed. Take my finger off the button. Go up to two. And 
we will uh, we'll take another ride real quick. Here we are, too. Open the door. Pressing in, holding it until it's all the way open. Take the finger off. Sorry, guys, it's a little cold. This cabinet, by the way, also has a little lock, which is what the key is used for to open it. So, yep, it is. All right. Don't take it up to three real quick. Oh, also, if there's a four slot and you put it on hold, it will cancel it out. See? It won't work. Back on. Also, you can't hold the four to go like you can on Dover's for independent service. Take it up to three. It'll go up. Three. Door will not open. I'm also going to go to the call station real quick. Put it on hold real quick so it doesn't go anywhere. Not that it would, but the door would not close either. Button won't work. Chime will not go off. See? It's not lighting up like it normally does. Head back into the over level again. Alright. Back into the car. Turn fire service on, we'll close the door. Door is now closed. Send it back. I turned the key to off. Four buttons won't do anything. Also, did I mention the key cannot be removed when it's in the on? Okay, that should not have done that. But actually, maybe it's programmed too. Okay. You put the key on hold. Also, I mentioned that you can also put it on hold. You can close the cabinet. The car will stay here. Then when you want to come back to it, you open up your cabinet. Use your key. You put your key on. Back to on. And, yep, we're going to end it here. Put your key in. Off. Phase one is now back on. Force will not work again as like when it was when it was on hold. So I'm showing you guys a bunch of other stuff so don't get too many comments. You know. See? I had to turn it. Just drop my keys. Alright, let me grab the key. As long as it's in hold, once back to off and I turn it to hold, Button won't work, but you have to put, you have to turn it to the on first, then to hold, and then the button light will turn back on. Turn it to off. Close the cabinet. This one just locks like that. See so it's locked. You'll come out here. Two phase one key switch. Put the key in. See how it's on? How it's in the on position? You put the key in. Turn to reset. Then off. The fire hat goes out and we are out of fire service. So I can uh, press the button and the chime will work. Except I can cancel it out like this. So it's off because I turned it back on. Reset, off. If you do have it in on and you just turn it to the off, it won't work. See how it's still in fire service? It goes off and it's back in regular service. The door will close up in a sec. It should. Sometimes they glitch it out, reset, then off. There we go. And that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed fire service on a Tiz and Crop. That's it. Hey, guys. Make sure to become a fellow James Tuber today by subscribing to me and check out my similar video.